tell if a dog is marking or urinating. Hey guys, my name is Jessica. I'm the furry family coach. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. Thank you so much for being here in this video. We're going to be talking about how to tell the difference in if your dog is marking or if they are actually just urinating. A lot of pet parents can't quite tell the difference. They think they need more potty training or that their dog isn't potty trained, but in actuality, your dog may be marking. There is a difference. It can be very hard to tell. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about all of the ways that you can tell the difference if a dog is urinating or marking in your home. So real quick before we get started, let me know in the comments, post in the comments why you landed on this video. Is your dog peeing in the house and you're trying to figure it out? Or maybe you have a friend or a relative whose dog is marking, potentially marking, and you're trying to figure out what is going on. There's actually gonna be two videos in this series. This video is gonna be telling you how to tell the difference between urinating and marking. And the next video is going to be tips to reduce marking in a dog who is marking. So I will put the link in the description below for the second video, but let's get through this first video first because it is really important to be able to tell the difference between urinating and marking because you treat them completely differently. Real quick, if you are new to my channel, I talk about all things dog training, dog behavior, canine enrichment, and canine nutrition. If that is right up your alley, please click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Once you click the subscribe button, a bell will pop up. Click the bell and select all notifications. That way, YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. And how awesome would that be for you to get to know when videos post before everybody else, it would be really awesome. So really quick, um, don't forget at any point during this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you hear something that really resonates with you or if you just like this video in general, I would really appreciate you helping out my channel with a thumbs up. And so let's get into telling the difference between urinating and marking. Oh, one more thing, do check the description below because I do have some free training, free dog training, for you, check the description below for the link. It's click and learn. Wait till the end of this video, but check the description. So let's get right into how to tell the difference in marking and urination in a dog. I hear all the time people say, my dog is peeing in the house. I don't know what I've done wrong. There's nothing I can do. Um, I have talked to trainers. I've talked to friends. I've talked to family. I can't get my dog potty trained. Well, it's not always about potty training. Sometimes what you think is just, what you think is urination, you think your dog is pottying in the house, they might actually be marking. It is really important to distinguish if your dog is urinating or marking because the treatment plan is completely different depending on which one your dog is actually doing. So there are three main reasons your dog may be, three, three, I don't know why I did four, it's three, three, your dog may be urinating in the home. The first one is their age or lack of training. For example, if you have just adopted a new puppy or maybe, you, maybe you've adopted an older dog, but you know they have had absolutely no training um, and they just don't know that they're supposed to go potty outside, then of course you do want to employ the full potty training experience. The second one, second reason, is that your dog is marking. So if your dog is urinating, this is a physiological event where your dog is actively trying to completely eliminate their bladder. Marking is different in that it's intentional, meaning your dog has a very specific purpose for applying urine in a certain area or on a certain spot or on a certain item. The third reason is that your dog is having some sort of medical complication. And this could be no matter what age your dog is, always is a possibility that your dog has some sort of medical condition and they absolutely need to see a veterinarian to rule this out before you start any behavioral change or training program. No matter what of these three reasons you think your dog may be urinating in the home, it is 
always 100% advisable that you do check with your veterinarian, have your dog get a, a thorough checkup, let your veterinarian know the issue that you are having with your dog so that they can specifically check and make sure there's no underlying medical condition for inappropriate urination in the house. Once you do this, and only once you have completed a thorough vet examination and have received a clean bill of health, then should you move on to figuring out if your dog is urinating, which is a physiological event to empty the bladder, or if they are intentionally marking. There are a few signs that can help you distinguish if a dog is urinating or marking, but first let me say that it is a myth that only intact males will mark. That is a myth. Males that have been neutered can mark and females can mark. There are also several reasons that your dog may be marking. The first one is territorial marking. Territorial marking is very much like you putting up a fence to differentiate between your yard and your neighbor's yard. Your dog is saying, this property is mine. And your dog's area, territory, may extend past your home. In fact, a lot of dogs will consider an entire neighborhood or an entire park their territory and they will go through the neighborhood or through the park and actually mark their urine over other dogs urine so that they are laying claim and saying, no, this is my territory. The second type of marking is what is commonly referred to as business card marking. In this instance, your dog may not be leaving their urine scent to say that this property is mine, they could be leaving what we affectionately call P-mail just to let other dogs know that they were around, they were here, they stopped by, and this is who I am. Just so other dogs coming through and passing by can smell and smell the urine and know what dog was there. Third type of marking is stress marking. If your dog is feeling stressed, they can resort to marking, especially if they come upon an item, an object that has an unfamiliar smell that is making them stressed or is making them uncomfortable. They can want to cover that smell with their own urine to help relieve some of the anxiety and stress that they're feeling. Fourth is anxiety urination. And this is often seen in cases of separation anxiety. So if you leave the home and your dog marks while you're gone, it can be because they are feeling a lot of anxiety and uh, you will definitely want to look further into treatment for separation anxiety. The fifth one is actually submissive urination. Essentially what they're saying is that when when they submissively urinate, they are letting whoever, the human or dog, whoever is around them, when it happens, know that they are completely submissive, that they are not there to dominate, they are not there to take over. They may also flip on their back when they do this, letting you know that I, I'm i not here to hurt anybody, I'm completely submissive, I trust you, I don't, I'm not gonna do anything to harm or hurt anyone. Um, and unfortunately that does happen. So that's the other type of marking. Um, I generally don't refer to this as marking, but I did want to throw it in here in case it's something that you are experiencing with your dog. One thing I do want you to remember, and I talk about this in a lot of different videos, but scolding your dog for urinating or marking will never help. Never, 100% of the time, is never going to help anything. It's only going to make things worse. It's only going to exacerbate the problem. So never, ever, ever scold your dog for inappropriate urination. So how to tell the difference if your dog is urinating or marking, like urinating to actually empty their bladder or and, and go potty, or if they are intentionally marking an object or an area. The most effective way that you can generally differentiate the two is that if your dog is marking, it's a small amount of urine coming out. It's a small dribble of urine. It's not a full on, I'm releasing everything from my bladder. 
if your dog is actually trying to, to urinate and go potty, they are trying to release everything from their bladder. So you would expect to see a larger amount of urine. Whereas if a dog is marking, it's going to be a smaller dribble of urine. That's going to be probably the best and easiest way you'll be able to tell the difference. Most males are going to urine mark by lifting their leg. And of course, females will squ squat really quickly because they, again, they're just letting out a dribble of urine. Generally, and not all the time, but often, marking is going to be on vertical items or objects or places. You're not going to see a large puddle on the ground and anticipate that to be marking generally. So, if you do find a large puddle on the ground, that's more than likely um, pottying or emptying of the bladder. But if they are on a, a vertical item or object, um, maybe a wall, that more than likely is going to be a sign of marking. Also, marking will generally take place on areas where other dogs or animals have already marked or maybe have left their scent in some way. So if you know that maybe a friend or family member's dog came into your home and peed or marked somewhere in the house and then your dog goes back in that same area and lifts their leg and marks, then you know that that is more than likely marking. So now that you have a pretty good understanding that there in fact is a difference in urinating to empty the bladder and marking and a, a few tips on how to differentiate the two in your dog, um, we'll move on to the next video in the series, which I will put a link for in the description, which is uh, how to reduce marking in your dog. If you have in fact figured out that your dog is marking. Now, if your dog is pottying in the house and actually trying to empty their bladder in the house, then you're going to want to go and completely restart over with potty training. Again, after you have uh, gone to the vet and made sure there is no underlying medical condition because that is the first and foremost thing you need to do anytime your dog is soiling the house and they shouldn't be, or anytime your dog has some change in mood or behavior, you definitely wanna consult your vet about that. So get that out of the way, make sure they are medically healthy, and then if they are urinating to actually empty their bladder in the house, then you want to start over with potty training. Definitely join my group. I do have a lot of great information about potty training in my group, again, the description uh, check the description for the link to join the group. Um, but if you have figured out that your dog is in fact marking based on all of the tips in this video, then check the description for a link to the next video in the series, which is how to reduce marking in your dog. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that red subscribe button down there if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.